All hail the saison. Beer, 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 beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Baruski, for the Ruski Baruski Review. And today the beer I have for you is again by the Blood Brothers Brewing Company here in Toronto, Ontario. And this is their Hail Saison. Saison with honeydew coming in at 5%, five percent five sorry 5.5% 5 .5 alcohol by volume and no listed IBUs on the bottle no listed IBUs on the website but untapped is coming in clutch with six IBUs I don't know is it gonna be six or is it not gonna be six I'm not sure but let's let's find out looking at the bottle Black label, gold surroundings with white lettering, and it looks to be like the, the, the moon, the moon moon shapes and stuff and things around there. Kind of cool. Pretty neat. Man, I love their bottle designs and all that jazz. They just look, they look really freaking cool. But let's crack this open. Gold cap in the box. Off the backboard, we're good. And let's pour it into my... Muskoka Breweries IPA glass. There's a little bit of water in there. Get that out. And let's pour it on up. Nice looking color. That looks to be about right for right now. So I can enjoy the rest after the review. Looking at the beer, pretty clear yellow. Uh, you can see through it a little bit. There's a touch of haze on there. Um, actually, it looks clear on the bottom versus the top i think that's just the way the way the glass is shaped a little bit of a white head on top let's have a smell oh yeah big face of honeydew melons in there really sweet really light and fresh and you get some nice saison spiciness in the background but yeah definitely very honeydew forward let's have a sip Ooh, ooh, ho oh, that is interesting. That's really nice. You get the nice spicy notes from typical saisons, a little like like um the yeastiness that you get from them, and then it jumps into this sweet honeydew melon that really really works with the saison style of beer. Wow, that is, I need more. Cheers, everyone. That is really, really tasty, holy crap. Wow, ah, uh, wow, I, I, I don't know what to say. Like you get a nice bit of Saison style, a little bit of funkiness, a little bit of um, spices going on there. A um, little bit of like a white grape. Uh, what else? What grape nuttiness, graininess, spiciness, herbs. And then it jumps into this very crisp and clean. Goes down smooth, dances on your tongue, sort of honeydew melon, sweet melon flavor. That is damn good and oh, so refreshing. It just like... I don't know, it's like a blast of like fresh water all over you kind of thing on a nice hot on a nice hot day. That's exactly what it does to your taste buds and whoa. This is really good. Drinkability on this is crazy and yes, now I do believe that's six IBUs. This is not bitter at all. It's definitely packing a ton of flavor, but nothing that's going to be overly done, which makes this just so damn enjoyable. Holy crap. Let's look on the bottle, see what it has to say for itself. It's not much. Blood Brothers doesn't really have much. I did that previously with the uh, Order of the Sun, but Hail Saison. Saison with Honeydew, 5.5% alcohol by volume, 500 mils. Blood Brothers Brewing, Toronto, Canada. That's all it has to say. No description, no ingredients, no IBUs, no bottled on or best before date. Bummer, 
for sure. I definitely like to see that on the bottles, especially on the back. You got a ton of real estate here. You can definitely throw that on. But, you know, the logo, the logo is badass. Just, just solid, solid beer. Mm. See, I'm not a big fan of honeydew as like a fruit. I, I'll eat it, but it's not my favorite thing in the world. But in this, no complaints. Just so oh, damn good. I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked. I didn't know it was going to be. Saisons have that sort of very, you know, identifiable style of flavor. And then putting it in with honeydew, which is a bit sweeter. It seems like it wouldn't really work. But wow, this works phenomenally in this. Quite, quite surprised. Quite, quite pleased. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Mm. That is damn delicious. Moving over to the website now, bloodbrothersbrewing.com. Scroll down on their bottle shop tab to Hail Saison. Hail Saison, brewed with Pilsner malt, oats, and wheat. Hail Saison is a refreshing, fruity delight enhanced by the addition of painstakingly handed, sorry, painstaking, painstakingly hand-juiced honeydew melons and German Huel melon hops. Worship nice weather. Absolutely beautifully well done. That is, that is oh so good. Wow. Wow. And it, it doesn't sit heavy in the stomach, which is really, really nice too. Mouthfeel, the overall just body of it is perfect. It is, it's a light on its feet. Goes down from remarkably smooth. Wow, 5.5% is a solid uh, alcohol for this because if you really like this, like I do, you will definitely want more. And it's 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 on that line of very very of, of bold flavors to uh, to uh, sessionable. It's right on that line. I want to say solid beer overall so so far. Finally, moving over to Untap now. Sorry, I just need more. Really, really good, if I haven't said that before yet. Uh, <sighs> Hail Saison has been given a 3.73 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 708 ratings. Ah, wow, wow, this is a treat. I've been saying that a lot for the last couple of beers that I've had. It's a treat, because I don't go out to breweries that often, and... It was definitely great to do that the other day. I know my wallet's not too pleased about it, but hell, my taste buds are and my life experiences are, so that's better. Wallet, you can go to hell. This is definitely worth the money, worth the experience, worth the flavor. It is just, I don't, I, I don't know why I'm gushing so much. It's just really, really good. And I, I was not really expecting it to be this great of a beer, but it, it really is. So with that said, Cheers on the final sip, and let's get right to ratings. Mm. This beer. It's light on its feet. It's got big, bold flavors, but nothing that's going to overtake your taste buds or overtake your stomach when it sits. It's just really frigging good. It's... It's perfect. It's perfect for this summer weather where it's hot, it's humid. It's this beer will cool you down. Refreshing as all hell, crisp and clean and out of control. It's just the perfect words to say about this beer. Um, I really can't find any faults with it. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely a solid beer. Definitely not one of my favorite beers. But man, this is right up there. It deserves a solid nine out of ten for me. Just tremendously remarkably well done of a beer and i'm so happy i still have some left to sip on and enjoy after i shoot this video moving over to presentation now 
Blood Brothers, you do a great job on your artwork and your bottle designs. It's it's cool. It, it's just really cool. There's an all-seeing eye. There's mountains in the background. There's some tribal stuff. There's some, like, medieval stuff. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it, it looks great, and it just looks interesting. You know, you're setting yourself apart from most of the crowd, it seems. And by God, I love the, I love the designs. But what I need, what really, really matters at the end of the day are IBUs, ingredients, best before brewed on date, and a description. Obviously, you have the description on your website, and that's great. It's a nice description of the beer. It tells you actually what's in it. Yeah, so I, you know, ingredients checked off there. Pilsner malt, oats, wheat, and uh, honeydew, and German Huel melon hops. Never heard of Huel melon hops, but shit. You have them in here, and so, you know, you're going to get a pass on the ingredients portion of it, but I'd love to see IBUs. I'd love to see a best before date or brewed on date. That's that's the main thing. Best before brewed on is my uh, is really on my top priority of beers uh, because I, I want to buy a beer and know that it's fresh or know that it's maybe stayed in the LCBO too long or maybe stayed in my fridge too damn long and I totally forgot about it. But overall, presentation of the beer gets a solid 7.5 out of 10 just because the design's so cool and the uh, description on the website is great. But missing those key points that you need for a uh, bottle design are there, and that's why you lose marks. But overall, solid, solid design nonetheless. Now, before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Ruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Ruski, and like I always say, Crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.